<laughs> Hello, Lola's. <laughs> so, let me get myself together here. As you guys can see, I have Baby Piper with me and um, a little self. So, of course, she's another one of my little favorites. It's like right now, I kind of got all my little favorites in my collection, which is so cool. Um, I was also looking at another post, and I'm just kind of like, you know, just feeding off of other people's topics right now. I've, I'm sure I've discussed some of this stuff over the years, but I am so busy with everything else. I'm kind of like, my mind is not as free to think of like, oh, what do I want to talk about? Do a video. So I just kind of like add my two cents in what the current um, conversations are. And one, this conversation never gets old. It's an ongoing thing. It'll always be an ongoing thing because we always have new people to collecting. And we also always face these questions and stuff. Um, one of the things, and it just happened to me just recently, um, where people ask, like, why do we collect the dolls and stuff? And the, the main thing is dealing with family and people that you actually love and care about. Because to me, you know, meeting a stranger that you'll never see a day ever in life again. She got her little tummy bleed on too. She's so cute. Um, that we'll never see again. It doesn't really... I don't think it really affects us like it does when it's someone that we really care and value their thoughts or their opinions of us versus, um, you know, a stranger. Um, I put the mitts on. It kind of makes her look a little bit more calm. But, um, you know, strangers... You know, like I said, we'll never see them again. Our our family, we see them all the time. One of the things that I used to do, and it stopped real quick, is I was so excited about finding these dolls because I had been looking for real the realistic dolls for a long time, and then I stopped. And then, you know, after my um, after my divorce, I decided that you know okay i finally got my myself together i had a little extra money that i could spare and things were looking you know pretty good for me i wasn't struggling worrying about what i was going to eat i wasn't hungry no more <laughs> girl what um so i decided to find me the realistic doll that i always wanted well first i was like let me buy me i want to treat myself to something i really for me something that was for me because i always would spend my money on the children or the house i never would take time out for me like i was always a person like i would see a pair of jeans and they would be twenty dollars and i would freak out i was like uh, -uh i ain't paying that like i would literally go to the clearance rack it would have to be like 11.99 that's it that's topped like i would the most i would spend probably maybe 14 dollars, and that was really pushing it and that was for jeans guys and you guys know jeans cost. So, hence to say I didn't have many jeans. But, um, but the, um, so I found, I, I got my dolls. And I was so excited about them. And so I would take them. The well, first thing I did, I took them to the School of Arts where my daughter was going. I took one in there one day. The first one I got, which was Walter by Laura Tuzo Ross. And, and it was painted by Connie Wiley Prince. Um. And when I got in there, they I knew it might have not been the most super realistic compared to what was out there. But it was more realistic than any doll in a store. So when I took it out, people were like, kind of fooled for a second. But then they were kind of like, I figured it was a doll after a while and stuff like that. But they were like blown away. And I liked the reaction. And then I would, I would take them to... Every time I get a new doll, I would take it to my mom to see. I would take it, you know, my cousin, my older cousin, me and her was pretty close and she lived close by me. 
um and well my other house and so i would take them to her my grandparents all the time and my grandparents got a kick out of them because they knew i was always a doll lover so they were very accepting of it my mom was very accepting of it. my cousin was accepting of it but she made jokes and you know little said little funny things like um oh my god you're crazy or what you really lost it now type thing but she would be like i know you always love dolls da 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 da, da. but um over time those kind of you're crazy and all that stuff kind of kind of got me to where i was like okay i'm not gonna bring them over there too much but um you know and then my neighbors and they would be having stuff and i would take them over there for them to see and you know and and stuff like that but i would get all these after a while people would be like but why you know why would you you know collect keep collecting and you just might as well have another baby and all this stuff that they would say and it would just it just at the end of the day by the time i got home i was emotionally drained and i didn't have that good feeling you know what i mean like and i won't even lie to you guys a lot of people be like oh i don't care it don't matter to me but i'm gonna tell you guys the truth it got to a point where there was times where when i got home i would be like kind of like you know, sometimes when when everything and every all the noise quiet down, I would kind of think like, I do spend a lot of money on these dolls. Like, I mean, why do I really like these dolls so much? You know, I started self evaluating myself, trying to figure out like, you know, because people like it must be something in your life that you're missing or you're feeling a void or da da da. So I'm like trying to figure out what the hell am I missing? Like, why? What was wrong with me? You know, why? Why am I? So, you know, addicted to the dolls and da 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 I mean, I didn't give it, like, that much thought to the point where I didn't want to collect anymore, apparently, because here I am still today. But, um, I did, it did make me think, and then I got to a point where I was like, you know what, people would, I would come out and people would be like, oh, you haven't got any new dolls lately? And I'd be like, yeah, I have. And they'd be like, oh, you ain't bring, why you ain't bring them out? And it's kind of like because I don't got I don't have time to hear what you have has got to say or make funny jokes. It's not funny anymore, like you know, or you know, calling somebody over here and you know everybody laughing at me, you know, like type thing. Like I'm being the 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 joke of the the room, you know, type thing. So no, and then some other time. Then there were times where I stopped showing them because people were asking how much I was spending, and then they were like oh gosh you speak why are you spending so much money on them dolls like you could be doing other things or if you want to waste money you can waste it on me or da da da, da. like it, then it became people start counting my money so i stopped showing them because of that too do people want to know how much oh well how much you pay for that oh that one looks really real i know you paid a lot of money for that one how much is it and you know people magic number is well you paid about five hundred dollars for it <laughs> and then you sitting there and you feeling like dang if they feel this way about you know thinking i paid 500 when this doll costs like 1500 you know i must be really crazy you know type thing but um it just got to a point where it was just like then i mean even sad enough to say even i'm not gonna say who it is but one of my family members that's really that i'm really close to um really got really to the point where they were like basically like i could i should give them you know money because i had these dolls and it was just it, it just got weird for me so i kind of backed off i don't stop talking to them and then that's why the doll meetups and the the um doll shows became more vital to you know my socializing about the hobby because it was people that understood it and you know you guys get it you know it was like okay so you know interacting even online i think became more important to me because you know, a lot of people are like, I'm just here for the dolls and I just want to see the dolls and all that stuff. I'm not going to tell that lie. I like socializing. I like talking about the dolls. I like laughing. I like the doll tea. I like to make little side commentary that I wouldn't say on my video. Like, girl, you seen that baby? That head was whopped, you know, or, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm just being honest. 
Um, I can do it as much now because, I mean, everybody's just, everybody that I've gotten close to or, you know, that's just a whole nother subject all in itself. But I just feel like I don't have anyone to talk to like that no more. Um, it's just for one reason or another, which is kind of disappointing. But, you know, it is what it is. But that's why the community, the socializing was so important, you know, because you can't do it with just regular people. Now my mom is starting to collect them a little bit, um, but she's not into it like I am. So it's like a different type of style of collecting. Like she's into them like she, she does, she does play with them. She does dress them. She does take pictures of them. Um, and I think sometimes she even posts them on her personal page and stuff like that. So she does like them. And she loves to come and see mine. She does. Um, but it's not extreme. I mean, well, I ain't going to say I'm extreme. But, you know, it's just, it's, it's just not really that much of the same. But then she did tell me a story that, you know, about when she, she used to love dolls and her brother buried the head in the um, dirt. She said she still gets up, upset about it today when she think about it. But he buried her doll, her favorite doll head in the dirt and called her outside. And then he kicked it like a football and kicked the whole head off. Oh my gosh, I would just kill him. But anyway, I think he apologized to her once he was grown. <laughs> ah, he wouldn't even made it to grownhood because I would have just bury him with the doll but anyway um thank god i didn't have no you know mm. anyway but yeah so but yeah she so she collects the dolls but i don't really have and then i don't know that i i want someone locally um i don't know i'm just weird i just, i don't want to get into all that but all i know is that guys you know this hobby is different I don't feel like it's something that you can force someone into accepting. I don't feel like people will even get it even if they accept you for your hobby. I feel like it's like something that you got to, you know, own it and be passionate about it. And just, you know, know that not everybody's going to understand it. Because unless they really collect and enjoy them like you do, they'll never fully, fully accept it the way that you want them to. You know, some people are supportive and they will be like, oh, that's cute. What did you get so-and-so? You know, but it's just not the same. Now, I've seen some um, collectors that moms and stuff will buy stuff for their babies and all that stuff. And my mom's kind of gotten to that point um, where she's, she's to that point. I mean, my mom is very supportive, you know, of my hobby and stuff like that. And she doesn't, like, shame me for, you know buying expensive dolls and stuff like that either you know at one point she did kind of go down that road um but she's kind of not did that in a long time but um yeah so i just think you know it is what it is this is a conversation that we'll forever have about it um as far as like dating with the dolls and guys you know i asked my guy friend that um early on I was like do you think I'm weird because I collect these dolls and he's like no it's just a hobby and he's like everybody has a hobby and so he was like I'm glad that you have something that you're passionate about and that you love and so that was that and you know I've been collecting after a while he was like oh my god you think you need any more you don't need any more that was when I used to have like tons in the beginning and um but then he don't even make those comments anymore so, um, and then when I, you know, met other, you know, entanglements or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> in passing, um, guys just, you know, if they knew about my hobby or I had a doll with me or something, they were like, um, they didn't think nothing of it. They're like, oh my God, it's cool. Let me hold it. You know, you know, it just. You know, one time I took it to work and the guys was like, one of the guys walking around talking about, 
this my this my son, y'all. This my son. And then it's, uh, the other guys like, no, nah, he look more like me. And this and that. he got my hair and all this and stuff. I think that was when I took Kingston to work. And um, you know, it was crazy. But yeah, I mean, some people get some people accept it. Some people think it's fun. Some people think it's cool. But you know, some people gonna just think it's weird, creepy, and you know, you're gonna have to just stand in your own and just be who you are but i think the best thing for me right now is i don't take my dolls out unless i'm on an outing or whatever really is really no purpose of it i'm not doing reaction videos or anything like that so i just enjoy them in my own space um you know this is my comfort zone i feel great when i can enjoy them in my house and i don't need other people to validate my hobby or validate me for that for anything so you know not that i'm saying that that's why people take them out some people just enjoy taking them out with them and like you know having them and it's also kind of nice when you take them when you're shopping because you can't kind of look at it hold the outfit up against them like ah that's gonna be too big you know type thing so you know and that's cool but i i enjoy them most just in my own privacy of my own home and so I don't do that and I don't have to have the judgment and people know I collect dolls and if I decide sometimes I share on my personal page and you know people make their comments I say what they say and we just move on and that's that and if people come to my house they may ask to see my dolls I let them come in my doll room tell them don't touch and that's that and you know it is what it is I was hoping that Gabby would be a doll collector. She seemed like she was going to be at first. But now she kind of just get her dolls and she store them. She'll place them somewhere. She has like one or two that she'll pull out from time to time. But I don't think she's going to be a doll collector. She's definitely not interested anymore. Like she used to. So there goes that. <laughs> so anyway... <sighs> thanks for watching I hope that um, everyone is well and I hope that you guys are enjoying your hobby and are making great friends and people that you can you know share and talk about these lovelies with but until the next video we will see you guys later oh.